4.2c, probability and plotting points. Give coordinate. The coordinate plane is this grid with the arrows or number lines going through it. The x-axis is the horizontal number line. which means it is the one that goes horizontally. Just like a normal number line, the middle number is zero, therefore this direction is positive and this direction is negative. The y-axis is the vertical number line. Which means it is the numbers that go up and down. Once again, the middle would be zero, which means that if we went up, it would be positive, and if we went down, we would be going in the negative direction. The origin is the intersection of the x and y axis, and it is at point zero comma zero meaning the x is zero and the y is zero. A coordinate point is directions, and they are given as x comma y, in parentheses with a comma, and they are the directions from the origin, which means how far in the x direction and how far in the y direction the point is from the origin. In example one, it asks to give the coordinates of the points A, B, and C. We will start by listing the points. Remember that the point must be in parentheses with a comma. Also remember that the first value in the point is the x, and the second value is the y. One way to remember this is that they're in alphabetical order. We will start with point A. We start at the origin or the intersection. From this point, we determine how far the dot A is from the origin in the x or horizontal direction. So we start counting boxes, one, two, three. It is three boxes from the origin. We now must determine whether we were in the negative or positive direction. Remember that the x-axis is negative on this end, and it is positive on this end, just as the y-axis is positive on the top and negative on the bottom. This means that we moved three in the negative direction. We write this as negative three. Next, we find how far the point is in the y direction. We can start where our pencil last was touching the paper we see that it went up one. Remember going up is in the positive direction, so we would write it as positive one or just one. We will now look at point B. Once again, we start at the origin or the intersection of the two lines. And we start counting boxes in the x direction until we get below the B. One, two, three, four, it is four boxes in the positive direction, so we write this as positive four for the x value. We now see how many it is vertically or in the y direction. We count one, two, and three. It is three up in the y direction. Remember, going up is positive. Therefore, it is a positive 3 in the y direction. Finally, we will find point C. Once again, we start at the origin, and we go in the x direction 
one space. When we've gone one space, remember we must determine if it was negative or positive. We went to the left, therefore it was a negative one. We now go down one and two. Remember that going down is also in the negative direction and therefore it is negative two. Example two asks us to give the coordinates of points E, F, and G. Once again, we write out the points. Remember, you need parentheses and commas for each of the points. And that the first value is the X and the second value is Y. We will start with point E. Remember, we start at the origin and we count how many places. One, two, three, four. We went four to the left or negative direction, therefore it is negative four. As you can see, I do not need to go up nor down and therefore the Y is zero because I did not move any places in the positive or the negative directions. Next we'll look at point F. Once again, we start at the origin. We determine how many places we must go left or right. As you can see, we do neither. When you do not need to move any to the left or to the right and the dot is directly on the axis, you know that you have zero as that value. Next, we find how far it is in the y direction. We count up two. Remember, going up on the y-axis is positive, so we have a positive two. Finally, for point G, we once again start at the origin and determine how many places. We go right one, two places. Remember, going right is a positive, and therefore we have a positive two. We then go down on the y-axis one place. Remember, going down on y is negative, and the answer is negative one. We now have found the coordinate points of these three points. Remember that when finding the points, you must always start at the origin. Once you have started at the origin, you start counting in the x direction. If you go left, the x value is negative. If you move right, the x value is positive. You then go in the y direction. If you go up, your y is positive. If you go down, your y is negative.